we must assume that you have some basic knowledge of smart board technology. If you don't, please look at the videos on this web page up above. Uh, you'll notice that we have uh, some items listed on this front page. Let me show where they come from. First of, first of all, <clears throat> there's a web page that we can get to up here, and I'm going to show you where it is to get your chemistry elements. You'll notice that we're on the, on the main page. I'm going to click on Smart Board. When I do that, I'm going to scroll down. Animation and Sound and Special Effects. Click there and scroll down again. And you notice we have Glitter, Text Generator. And then choose whichever one you would like to work with. And then just simply copy and paste it. The next item I'd like to talk about here is this little button. Just simply went to Yahoo Images Start button and we just simply hyperlink that to the next page. You'll notice we have a whole slew of pages here. Very easily done. I'm going to right click, click on the word link, make sure you choose the whole object, and we just simply click down to page number two to start this and hit OK. Now this next item you'll notice I have here is this little slide that's covering here and I wrote on top of it, touch the correct answer. This was really easily easy to do. I'm going to click on it, click on the down arrow and go to properties. When I do that, the objects fill effects, I just simply took the dark, I made it black, and I just changed the transparency. That's all. Very easy to do. <clears throat> Once you've done that, we need to look behind it. Let me get rid of this. And each one of these squares, I just simply took a uh, shape and filled it in with quadrant and again went back to properties and I used a quadrant fill with two colors and then we would just simply hyperlink those. So let's look at the hyperlink. Let me go to <clears throat> page number two. Sodium. The student must find sodium and none of these are hyperlinked unless he gets the right one. I'm going to right click and click on link and to hyperlink it, remember the whole object and in this case I look over here I want to go to number three and just simply click on OK. You'll notice number three what we've done here is just simply removed that little block so you know you're in the right one and then the next one is tin same basic idea <clears throat> I'm gonna right click link uh, make sure you have the whole object. In this case we went to 4 and you'll notice I previously removed that little square and just simply click on, don't forget the whole object, click on OK. And then just simply just constantly repeat that until all of these are gone. You'll find this to be very easy to do and well worth it to teach your class or show your class how to do this. It's, it's uh, fun, it's innovative, it's problem solving and uh, you can cover math, science, social studies, language arts, everything, any grade level, and utilize it using this concept.